So you watched my prior video, but there's one thing that never was fully explained. How can I get some of the more advanced emulators all set up? How do I set up Switch or PS3 emulation? But more importantly, how do I run these games at a decent frame rate? Welcome back to the Steam Deck Masterclass. This is part 2 of the emulation guide, focusing on Nintendo Switch, PS3 emulation, and also just general performance tweaks. If you haven't watched Volume 6 of the Steam Deck Masterclass, then do yourself a favor and watch it before you watch this one, because this video will assume you've watched that video. Yes, it assumes Emu Deck is already installed. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, why don't you check out the entire Masterclass series? It has some great tips for new Steam Deck owners, as well as existing Steam Deck owners as well. And if you like this video or any other of my videos, please like and subscribe and spread the good gospel of high tech lowlife. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing good and that you're enjoying the video. You have Emu Deck set up, now it's time to talk about PS3 emulation. PS3 emulation is really easy to set up. Well, that is after you install Emu Deck. To set PS3 emulation, it's recommended that you go into desktop mode and launch RPCS3 to begin with. As you can see here, I've already got RPS3 all set up and stuff, but we're gonna go through the process of installing the firmware once again. It's a simple matter of downloading the latest PS3 firmware of which you can easily find on Sony's official website. We're gonna go ahead and download the final PlayStation update, which should be update 4.90. RPCS3 should initially prompt you to install the firmware, but in case it doesn't, go ahead and press file and press install firmware. Select ps 3 updatpup and it should install. It'll also go through the screen of compiling PPU modules, which you cannot skip. It doesn't take too long for the firmware to compile PPU modules, but you'll have to repeat this process for every new PS3 game that you install. Obviously due to the complex nature of PS3 emulation, you cannot skip this for any of those games either. Also worth mentioning is that Emu Deck changes some settings within each emulator allowing it to perform the best on Steam Deck, or well, the best it can perform. There aren't too many game specific tweaks that are required, but for those that do, like Demon Souls, you should check out the RPCS3 wiki. Some games do require specific setups, and while there aren't too many cases out there, the wiki will tell you exactly what settings need to be changed. As for PS3 DLC, PS3 DLC tends to come in the form of package files. In order to install DLC and game title updates, you'll need to use this install package option. You'll then want to select the package you'll want to use. I think PS3 was fairly simple. Now it's time to talk about Switch. With Nintendo Switch emulation, things are a little less legal. For Switch emulation, you'll need three things. You'll need the prod key, title key, and firmware. Unfortunately, I can't tell you where to get prod keys or title keys. Yeah, they're on the internet and you can Google them, but it's not strictly legal to share. You can't like download it officially, I mean. I would tell you to dump it from your own system, except for the fact that Nintendo took down the project that let you do that. You'll have to source that yourself. You also need the Nintendo Switch firmware, which I usually download from Darth Sterney. The fact that his website hasn't been taken down over this means that it's probably not illegal. I don't know. Whatever the case is, you'll want to open up the Yuzu folder. Once you download the firmware, you'll want to extract all of the files in this zip file into the registered folder. Once you do this successfully, you'll be ready to game. That is, assuming you provide your own ROMs. Installing updates and DLC is a very similar process for Yuzu. You would just have to select this Install Files to NAND option. This one's a bit of a shorter episode because I just wanted to devote this to PS3 and Switch emulation because those tend to be the hardest ones for people to understand, even though personally, I think they're the easiest ones to set up. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.